up, gentlemen? So I've been thinking a lot lately about this whole idea and concept of being mentally tough or mentally strong. Because what I've come to realize is that the people that are or can develop mental toughness are gonna have an advantage over literally like 99% of other dudes. Because dudes as a whole are getting soft and weak in my opinion. Pusses, I'm talking big, monstrous pusses, which is actually bad news for them, but great news for guys like you and me, if you can learn to control some of the urges that a lot of men don't have the ability to control. It's not that you're not gonna have these urges, it's that you need to understand them, identify them, grab their ass, and push them down, and hold them there while you proceed to be tough and kick ass, gentlemen. The first urge that you need to control, or else I'm telling you, your life isn't gonna be awesome, and that is the urge to go out, have fun, and party. This may come is a little bit of a surprise to you, but the dudes that are really killing it are not the guys that are posting pictures of themselves like out with all sorts of girls and drinking and partying and boat parties and at the lake. That's not the guy that's killing it. The dude that's killing it is the one that's actually working, that understands that he needs to prioritize. Having fun, there's nothing wrong with it, but knowing when and how to do it responsibly, that is the thing that you need to understand and learn to do. I promise you something, all the dudes that are having an amazing time all the time, Look where they are five years from now, 10 years from now. Gentlemen, I promise you something. It's not gonna be anywhere that you wanna be. The second urge that you gotta, you gotta push it down and hold it there is your freaking temper. Gentlemen, if you do not have the ability to control your emotions, right? Unfortunately, you're not going to be in a position of power. People that get super emotional, super pissed off, super ready to kick your ass if you look at my spicy senorita again, these are the dudes that unfortunately are not gonna be taken seriously. Guys, the people that are in positions of power are people that can harness and control their urges or their emotion. They think about things logically as opposed to just reacting. When you just react and get all pissed off and just freak out, right? You give other people the power. You're also not thinking about things logically or clearly. And a lot of times you're gonna get yourself in trouble by doing this. The other downside is that people aren't gonna take you seriously. They're not gonna respect you because nobody respects somebody that's emotionally volatile. And this doesn't mean that you shouldn't stand up for yourself or speak your mind or if somebody does you wrong, you shouldn't defend yourself, but it's about the manner in which you go about doing it. But this brings me to the third urge that you need to overcome and that is allowing people to treat you poorly or take advantage of you. I've had to work super hard to overcome this one because my instinct and my normal like urge is to just let people treat me poorly and to walk all over me and to take advantage of me. And the reason is pretty simple. I want people to like me, right? I'm a people pleaser. And it's a defense mechanism that I learned from being a kid of and having like abusive stepfathers. I never wanted to rock the boat. And so I shut my mouth. I didn't stand up for myself. I would take it, I would eat it, I would hold it down and I would just deal with it myself. But the truth is, gentlemen, if that is something that's happening to you, you are going to explode. You've got to have the ability to say no. You've got to have the ability to stand up for yourself because if you don't, nobody's going to do it for you. So guys, when it comes to mental toughness, the person I think about or that always comes to mind is David Goggins, right? I've read, or I should say listen to the audio book that he's done called Can't Hurt Me three times. And it honestly, it changed my life, man. So it really resonated with me in this audiobook, not just like the fact that he's overcome like incredible adversity in order to achieve amazing things. It's the concept of the 40% rule where he talks about the fact that most of us are only tapping into 40% of our potential. And this like totally like blew my mind. I'm like, am I really, am I, am I really only tapping into 40%? And then he talks about ways to actually push past the pain and the fear in order to basically achieve more and tap into more than just that 40%. Guys, it literally changed my life. And right now, if you wanna grab it, guys, I'm gonna link to Audible down below. Audible is today's video sponsor and they are the best. Speaking of best, gentlemen, right now, Audible has one of the best deals they've ever had going on, all right? It's for the holidays. And if you are somebody that is interested in giving yourself a super amazing gift, I want you to hit that special link down below, audible.com slash alpha M, or text the word alpha M to 500-500. For a limited time, you are getting 46% off 
off of a four-month Audible membership. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment. They've got all the titles, right? From bestsellers, new releases, celebrity memoirs, language, business, not to mention like a ton of original content and binge-worthy podcasts. So when you're an Audible member, every month you get one credit to grab any title in the premium section, right? The one that I want you to grab right now, today, is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And then you also get access to the Plus category. The Audible Plus category is filled with thousands and thousands of additional titles, not to mention like guided fitness and meditation programs. They even have like sleep trackers to get like better rest, not to mention like podcasts. And the thing that I really love is the ad-free versions of your favorite shows. The entire Audible Plus category is yours with your membership, which means you can download and stream as much as you want. And the audiobooks that you actually download with that one credit, they're actually yours to keep in your Audible library. And the cool thing, if you get one and you're not really loving it, you can actually exchange it. The other thing that's really cool about the Audible credits is that they stay good for literally a year. So if you can't get to an audiobook one month, you can actually maybe grab two the next month or whatever. Guys, the deal is this. Audible is amazing, and right now, like I said, they're giving you 46% off of a four-month membership. Guys, hit the link down below. Go to audible.com slash alphaM or text the word alphaM to 500-500 to get started today. Like I said, 46% off your first four months of Audible. Guys, it is a huge Audible no-brainer. This is honestly the best deal I've ever seen them get. The book that I need you to get today and start listening to is Can't Hurt Me, Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds. Gentlemen, look at those ratings. Look at those ratings. Not just my opinion, this book is amazing. Get it. The next urge you need to overcome is your obsession with girls and spicy action. As dudes, we are hardwired to want to like get freaky, right? It's like it's like primal, right? Of course, I get that. I understand that it's hard. And when you see some like spicy ass thing, you're like, damn, right? It's okay to look. What's not okay is to act. If you are in a committed relationship and you are stepping outside of that, this is absolutely not okay. And I'm not debating the pros and cons of like the movies or porn or anything like that. But if it's affecting you or your life or your relationship in a negative way, or you're spending a lot of time or money in the pursuit of, this is something you got to get under control because until you're able to focus on the things that matter and put it in perspective and not lose your ever-loving mind over some nice boobs and a banging booty, gentlemen, you're never going to be strong. The next urge you need to grab and push down is actually impulsive spending. I know this one. This one, this one's tough, right? Because as a dude, you're there looking on social media, you're seeing where your boys and everybody around you is buying all this stuff, right? And we think, man, I I need that. If I don't have that, or if I don't buy this, I'm not as good as them, or I'm missing out. Guys, the only thing that you're doing, if you're spending more than you make, is putting yourself in a position of weakness. It's all about delayed gratification. It's about putting off and saving and paying down those high interest debts or loans in order to be in a position of strength. Two areas that you can reduce your spending the most is automobile and where you live. You don't need to drive that super crazy expensive car. You don't need to live in a super crazy nice place. Guys, live below your means and this honestly is going to be one of the things that's going to put you on the path of incredible strength. Not only mentally but financially as well. The next self-destructive urge that you need to overcome is procrastination. And this one is a big one because a lot of us do it, right? When something's not fun or we don't want to do it, we're like, ah, we'll do it later. It takes less time, less emotional bandwidth as opposed to you putting it off. Because even though you're not doing it and doing something else in the back of your head, you know you should be doing it, which is actually making the thing that you're doing not as enjoyable as if you would just sit down, focus, get the job done, do whatever you need to get done, and then you're cool. Then you've got all of this brain width that is freed up and you can go and enjoy yourself and do the thing that you wanted to do that you were about to procrastinate for. And this last urge we got to talk about is probably one of the biggest ones that you need to control in order to achieve anything. And that is the urge to stay safe and comfortable. You know, we don't want to be uncomfortable. We don't want to challenge ourselves. We don't want to try something and risk failing. It's fear, gentlemen. It's the fear of the unknown. It's the fear of failure that is holding you back. If you ever want to accomplish anything amazing, 
You've got to be willing to be uncomfortable. You've got to be willing to push that fear, that little voice in the back of your head down. You got to punch his ass in the face. Guys, it's about controlling the urge to stay safe. I get it, right? We don't like to be uncomfortable. I don't like to fail. I don't want to lose. But if it means the difference between living a life of amazingness or living a life that is safe, comfortable and below where you should be, gentlemen, that unfortunately is not an option for me. I would rather fail than regret never trying.